how are we going? It has been a while. I kind of neglected this YouTube channel a little bit. So today, right, first things first to address. I am sorry that the cupboard door is open. It's because my cat, Flynn, who's smooching my leg, he uh, likes to sleep in that cupboard and I don't want that closed so that he can get out. <laughs> He's got severe anxieties. Uh, second, welcome to my new setup. We have a new PC. She's lovely, she glitches a lot less, and I can play more games on it. So that's why my setup's a bit different. We're on my desk now, I'm not streaming from my bed or filming from my bed, so I'm very excited. Today, what I wanted to do is The Sims 4. They came out with a new pack. Now, I know that people seem to uh, not like The Sims 4, and honestly, I completely get it. I'm a Sims 3 girl myself, that's just me. Everyone can have their opinions. Yes, I did go and buy half The Sims 4 stuff, usually when it was on sale. This is the only one that I bought at full price. Reason being, <laughs> it is a pack about snow and going out in the snow and doing adventurous stuff with rock climbing. Now, if you could not tell by my channel name, I am a rock climber. I've been rock climbing for 12 years now, so I thought it'd be fun to look at this. First thing with this to address is, it's a pack about being in the snow and climbing outside. Now, for a second I thought, oh, maybe, maybe it's ice climbing. Maybe. It's not. Ice climbing is where you have picks and you chip through ice and have special boots and all that fun stuff. Not my thing. Definitely won't be trying it. <laughs> But no, it's not ice climbing. It is simply climbing out in the snow, outside, climbing outdoors in the snow. <laughs> I'm cold blooded. <laughs> so for those who can't tell by my accent, I'm from Australia. We don't really have a lot of snow. It's kind of rare. Even when it's quite cold, I typically don't climb. I can tell you from experience that putting your hands on rock that is cold really hurts. <laughs> it's about the closest oh, wow. head shape to me. <laughs> my lips probably aren't that big, but we're just gonna live vicariously. This is kind of more like something I'd wear. Definitely got hooded eyes. <laughs> Thank you, welcome to my TED talk. Eyeliner but make it ginger safe. I know they tried with this Mac stuff, right? But good Lord, I have questions about this one. <laughs> Why? Good Lord, I have so many questions. Surrounded anybody of uh, 2008. <laughs> Aspirations. Yeah, I want to be an extreme sports enthusiast, sure. Traits, a little bit creative, a little bit. Adventurous, what else? Oh my God, cat lover. Of course. Is it just me or is it just every other girl who like writes down names for their kids in the future? I don't know, or just names they like, they write it down. Alaska, that's a last name. Jones it is. I wonder what they're gonna consider climbing gear to be. I'm curious and how beneficial it's gonna be. So let's see what we've got. There's their little uh, wonky ass climbing wall. We love that. Improves the fitness skill, but they didn't, okay. So climbing, Im improves the fitness skill but it doesn't improve the climbing skill kind of thought they'd patch that but all right how do we play climbing gear then from the computer i see i see i'm curious right because it looks like they're bouldering now bouldering is when you're climbing short walls and you usually are landing on a crash mat so what climbing gear are we purchasing for that typically the kind of climbing gear you would need is just a boulder mat so something to land on crash pad why does it cost so much? Hot tip, climbing gear is expensive. Climbing gear is expensive. Didn't think it was gonna be that expensive. How much gear are we getting? What do we need if by the looks of the pictures, we're not using, we're not doing tall walls, lead climbing, where you need gear. It looks like we're doing short walls, bouldering, where you only need a crash mat. Yeah, a crash mat will probably cost that much, if not a little bit less, depending how cheap you can get it for, this is in Australian dollars, by the way, but, what gear are we going to need? I'm sorry, did you say gloves? Why gloves? Why gloves? Alright, hot tip if you guys are wondering about climbing. Uh, we do not use gloves. Everyone goes, oh, but your skin gets sore. Can I use gloves? Here's the thing. With gloves, right, it's when you put your hand on the hold, your hand's sliding around in the gloves. You're not getting as much friction. But with 
skin, you get heaps of friction and you can stick. I mean, yeah, it hurts, but the more and more you climb, the more your skin toughens up. At first, when you start climbing, if you go for particularly long sessions, you might end up with wounded hands, with like what we call rips, where the skin tears back. Sounds disgusting, but after a while, it toughens up and it takes longer for your skin to end up like that. So no, climbers don't really use gloves. <laughs> At least from my experience, right? We gotta take into account my experience is a little bit out outdoors and mainly indoor climbing. I'm I'm taking that from my bias, so please don't hate me, I'm sorry. The only beneficial thing I can see here, right, are climbing shoes. Why, first of all, we look at these lovely things. Climbing shoes are typically quite curved. I mean, you can get climbing shoes that are flatter, but the goal is that we want them to be curved. Reason why is because climbing shoes on the bottom of them are made of rubber. The rubber if it's curved, it'll be quite tight and rigid and it's less likely for your toes to bend back. As if, if you're standing in runners, for example, if you're standing on a hold in runners, your toes are likely to bend backwards, giving you less grip, making it more difficult. But with curved and more stiff rubber, your toe doesn't bend back and you can stand on smaller holds and just be in ultimately more control, saves energy. By the looks of it, these are quite flat, which is understandable for beginners because climbing shoes hurt like hell. <laughs> uh, climbing shoes typically are a bit smaller than your shoe size, so it's quite painful as well. <laughs> Hi, welcome to climbing, it's all pain. <laughs> it's interesting that these are quite flat. I would recommend more aggressive shoes as we call them. The more curved they are, the more aggressive they are. All right, let's go climbing because we haven't even done that. We've equipped them. By the way, don't walk in your climbing shoes. It also says that climbing gear does wear down over time, must be replaced. Yeah, you're talking if you're climbing heaps, sometimes six months to a year, depending on how good your technique is. Typically it's not till a few years, so I'm hoping they're not gonna make us do it constantly. <laughs> okay, so this looks like our climbing wall. How orderly. We've got some lanes here. First of all, I am not climbing it if it's that cold. I just might be a bit of a wuss, but I don't want to climb when it's that cold. Inspect the wall conditions. I can't lie, it looks pretty snowy. Wish I could just not have the gloves on. They're not necessary. What's she gonna say? What's she gonna say about the wall? Hmm, looks a little wet. Looks a little really bloody cold. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can't lie. This doesn't look too difficult by the looks of it. I am taking into account that it is animated. It's our first time climbing, so probably we climb cautiously. The more cautiously you climb, it means that you place your feet better. It means that you place your hands better and you think more about your movements, but it does use up energy. So the goal is to try and find that medium between going really quick and being stumbling to going slower but being careful and more logical. You gotta find that balance when you're climbing. Wow, we got the rock climbing skill which shows us in a glove. All right, looks like she's using her arms a lot here. All right, first quiver here. <laughs> quiver? First problem. Why do we not have crash mats? I'm very confused. Oh, see what she did, shaking out her arms. So climbing typically doesn't use a crap ton of cardio, but it does burn the lactic acid in the arms. And so she's just shaking it out, trying to relieve some of that lactic acid. I, I'll give points for that, but I am still pretty annoyed about the, um, the fact that she doesn't have a crash mat. That's not very safe, despite the fact that we've spent 400 and fifty dollars or simoleons on climbing gear to get gloves and shoes. Shoes for in Australian dollars, the most you'll pay is two eighty, three hundred if you're being spicy. Gloves? Why do we need gloves? We don't need gloves. They shouldn't be costing this much. Why am I so pissed? It's a game. <laughs> Breakpoint climbing session, meticulous climbing session, or practice. Hmm. I feel like breakpoint's a little bit dangerous, isn't it? I mean, sometimes if you're pushing your body to the limits, yeah, you can come out a lot stronger and complete moves that you often wouldn't think that you could complete. But meticulous is smart. But I like kind of a heavy, I like a nice balance of that. As an injury prone person myself, I do want to be quite careful when I'm climbing. For those who know me, um, yes, I have a lot of injuries. <laughs> I'm noticing she's using her arms a lot instead of her legs. As much as I like to think my arms are stronger than my legs, legs are much more useful. You want to push yourself and, and it takes some of the weight off your arms so that you can climb for longer and it doesn't take as much energy. What? See, she's only climbing with her arms if she pushed with her legs easier. To be fair, I need to stop being so harsh on this uh, Sims character because it's a computer game. 
Uh, she is at <laughs> level two. I I'm, need to stop being so mean. <laughs> I want to do courageously. Ooh, let's see what happens there. This is so vague. I love it. We are at level three. Wow. Does that mean when we get up higher, we're not going to use the snow as our, um, as our safety? Or is, does that mean we're going to have a, a mat to land on, you know? Oh, cool. Are we going to go up to the, the top? Are we going to use that little rail here? Oh. <laughs> I guess that was it. It's <laughs> a bit sad. Let me clarify. Just because a wall's tall doesn't mean you can't do it. Okay? Climbs get harder with the limited amount of holds that you have or the space apart. Let's do it. I'm in. Outdoor climbing is quite different to indoor climbing in which like it's more visible when you're, when you're indoor climbing as to where you've got to go. But outdoor is a bit harder. You can't see where all the holds are. So it's understandable that she's feeling around and being cautious. My problem here is, right, if she falls, she's dead. <laughs> uh, and The Sims, probably not. But I know that you've got a mega pile of snow here, right? But still, whatever happened to safety? Whatever happened to that? This looks like my kind of wall, TBH. Overhanging. <laughs> I like that stuff. In reality, that's very high. And even with a crash mat, that's a little bit dodgy. This is, uh, so the taller walls, you'd typically be doing a kind of climbing called lead climbing, where you'd put clips into the wall and you would take your rope and clip in as you go and you'd have a partner below you who is safely caring for you, <laughs> holding the ropes. And when you'd fall, you would fall to the last clip and occasionally smack into the wall. This is so dangerous, holy crap. <laughs> she did it, wow. I'd be thankful that I didn't die. <laughs> I know I'm overreacting and that this is, it's, it's a game. It's a game, Sarah, it's a game. It's a bad representation of climbing in my biased opinion. Look, I'm impressed with the shoes that they even managed to find shoes that are somewhat close to climbing shoes. I'm pissed about the gloves. Safety wise, that's a bit stressful. Now, I believe that we can go on this trip, right? I need a high rock climbing skill, god damn. Even then, there is a chance of falling to your death. So it is best to know what you are doing. Guess what? It's best to know what you are doing by using safety. 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 Please. We are not all Alex Honnold. We cannot all just, like, have zero concept of death and commit to crazy solo climbs. Solo climbing is climbing without gear, exactly what we're doing here. We can't all be like that. I like my life. I like living it. I like, I, I, I don't have a death wish. I want to stay alive. Tell you guys what, I'm not going to do this one this time. Let me know if you want me to get a high enough skill level and try that out. Because I think that'd be quite fun to try um, and see what it's like. Personally, the only outdoor climbing trips I've done have been a long time ago and with more experienced people. I honestly don't have a lot of experience with multi-pitch climbing. Multi-pitch is where your rope is not long enough and you have to do climbs in segments. Um, yeah, so I mean it'd be interesting to view. I do have a little bit of base knowledge but not super experienced. For those who don't know, I'm a spot climber. I compete. I don't do a lot of outdoor stuff. I need to. I need to. But yeah, I'm typically just a competition climber and I just climb indoors for fun. I prefer indoors, that's just me, but I do need more experience outdoors. All right, I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you guys wanna see me try out the excursion and kind of give my opinions on that, let me know. I, I probably will be playing with this more. I definitely know that The Sims can sometimes seem like a bit of a rip off. That's just my opinion, not fact. It just can seem like that with, uh, I guess, how much we're getting in comparison to previous games, particularly with, um, I know I loved The Sims 3 and I always got this feeling playing The Sims 3 that was just incredible. I loved it. And when I play The Sims 4, I don't get that feeling. I feel like I'm not connected to The Sims. They don't have much personality. I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> I think it's the sentiment of a lot of people. But yeah, I still am willing to play it and I'm willing to try it out. I always have this hope that it's going to get better, but I'm not. I think they did alright with this pack. 
it still seems a little bit lackluster. Um, let me know if you guys want me to review anything else in The Sims. I will gladly do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're interested. Up to you. I should probably not neglect this YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm gonna try and play more, particularly more DC. And if you're interested, I am streaming on Twitch quite regularly. My Twitch name is the same as my name here. I will link it below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.